Hello there, Mark Sabatella from Mastering MuseScore here. In this tip, I'm going to talk about system spacing, the space between the systems of your score, and I'm going to talk about why you normally shouldn't really be fiddling with that, uh, but also how to go about doing it when you need to. So. First things first, this is an empty score, 32 measures, it's kind of the default thing you get. And you might look at this and say, well, gee, it looks like the measures are awful squished together, right? But the space between the systems is pretty wide and that doesn't look good, I should mess with it. Well, don't mess with it. It's going to adjust as you enter music, right? So I'm gonna actually copy some music into this from another score. I'm just gonna copy in the first measure of a, a, a Bach piece here. And when I paste it in, notice the measure got wider and then everything else on that system also got wider, right? So the width of the measures got wider. Um, but you might be looking at this and saying, well, gee, uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to fit many more systems on this page, right? It looks like uh, maybe I'm only gonna be able to get five or six or seven systems and, and I want more, I want more, right? Well. Let's talk about that a little bit. Let's let's add a few more uh, measures here to copy. Uh, let's go all the way up to here, say. And let's copy these measures in now. And notice that it is compressing the space as I go, right? It's now, it's got enough room clearly for those seven systems we have right now but is that all? Is that all there's going to be room for? Well, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's actually copy all the way, uh, all the music here for the entire score and see what MuseScore does. Well, look what it did. It it squished everything down. We now have, you can count them here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten systems on that page. And they're pretty compressed already. I mean, they're, they're, they're about as close together as you would want them to be. So in most cases, MuseScore is going to adjust the spacing and produce pretty good results right out of the box if you're patient. Wait until you're done with the score before you start messing with things, all right? So now let's talk about why you might want to mess with things and what you might want to do. So this particular score happens to fill up the last page pretty well already, but let's pretend it didn't. Let's pretend it stopped right here and there were only three systems on the last page. Well, those three systems are now wider spacing than any of the other pages, right? So you might be looking and saying, well, I want to close that space up. I still want to say, maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you just want to balance things better, right? Maybe you want to put a page break to balance things, like maybe say select this measure here and uh, control enter to get a page break there. And then uh, maybe about this measure here and uh, control enter to put a page break there and that balances the pages a little better. I just sort of eyeballed it, I could have counted systems, but you can see it, it just generally looks better already. However, I did promise I was gonna show you how to adjust the spacing if you need to, and it's actually quite simple. What I'm gonna do, so I've, I'm back to where I have just those three systems there because I undid those page breaks. I'm gonna go to format, style, and then here on the page tab. So I'm gonna click page on the left. You'll see a ton of different settings here. And depending on the specifics, any number of these might possibly be relevant. But in most cases, the one you want here is max system distance. This tells MuseScore how much space it's going to allow between systems. And all I have to do is start decreasing it until I get a uh, small enough values that it is compressing that page there. So at a value of about 10 spaces, uh, 10 staff spaces, the spacing between these systems is more similar to how it was on the other pages. You probably don't wanna go too much uh, less than that, but in any case, that setting is there for you to play with, a whole lot of other settings there to play with if you want, and in my online course, I talk about all these settings and what they're for and demonstrate how to use them, but for now, at least you've seen uh, some things about system spacing in MuseScore.